interesting animals, thousands and thousands of them, and half of them are drunk. The animals never thought that they would live for most of their lives and still experience the feeling of being drunk. Every summer, the ripe marula fruits emit a strong fragrance, which attracts many animals to eat them, including elephants. Elephants are not as agile as monkeys. They can only use their noses to bite the trees to get the fruits. They don't care if there are monkeys on the trees. As long as the fruits don't fall, they will keep biting until the elephants finish biting. Other animals will come to enjoy these fruits. These fruits are very delicious and the small animals will eat too much without noticing. At first they don't feel any discomfort, but as time goes by, the marula fruits start to ferment in the animals' stomachs. Under the influence of alcohol, they gradually enter a state of slight intoxication. Three hours later, the alcohol starts to kick in. The warthog Peng Peng walks with a staggering pace, wanting to find the working leopard to bump into. The ostrich wobbles and clamors to go to the big bathhouse and let the crocodile give it a full body massage. The giraffe swings its hooves and enters a state of immersive self-entertainment. The monkey, because of its greediness, has completely entered the state it has clearly felt what it means to have a head that is not a head, but a spinning earth. At this time, the passing vulture looked at the group of drunkards in front of him and fell into deep thought. They never thought that even the king of the grassland was blinded by the marula fruit. His child could not stand up and still kept showing off in his mouth. By evening, the monkeys were completely done. Walking, all of them were rolling and crawling. The most playful ones were also decent. At this time, if the male leopard passed by, he would definitely thank the gift of nature. Some monkeys, with the courage of alcohol, hugged another male monkey and kissed him. After the madness, the monkeys lost their strength. When night fell, the greedy monkeys were already snoring. The warthog Peng Peng returned home safely after bumping into the working leopard. The baby elephant, because of eating too much, still could not stand up. The rest of the animals had already entered the dreamland. A beautiful day ended like this. The next morning, the hungover monkey was the first to wake up. From his state, he could see that he had a headache. He expressed in his self-blame and regret that he would never drink again. After drinking for a day, he had no energy. Dingman woke up and ran back home quickly. Otherwise, he would lose his job as a guard. The warthog Peng Peng had a blackout. He could not remember the thing that he bumped into the working leopard yesterday. The elephant had sobered up. He was ready to go with the giraffe to find back yesterday's state.